Well, I told you all I would keep you in the loop. Well, today I called the towing insurance I have, and they took about 45 minutes to answer the phone. When they did, another half hour probably getting things lined up. They said the tow truck's on the way. I hung up. Five minutes later, I get a text saying the tow truck is on its way from A1 Auto. Well, they had told me they were sending me one from Blue Mountain Towing. Yeah, they sent out two tow trucks. So I had to call them back, wait another 45 minutes, to tell them they screwed up. And that's how the day started. And now you know that part of the story. Well, guys, no good news for... First thing this morning, took forever for the tow truck to get here. It only took him seconds to say that he thinks the noise is coming from the bottom end. We started it up this time and it was really clunking. Gets worse every time we start it. They're going to give me a ride back up there. They're going to pull off the oil filter and oil pan if they need to. To uh, Well, they're going to check it out and see what for sure it is. Give me a call back. They're going to give me a ride back up to the campground and uh, if I could I'd just get drunk as a but that ain't gonna help that ain't gonna help we're here at powerhouse diesel performance in Pendleton I'll add more to this clip when we figure out more well I always try to look on the good side Vicky's still sick guys and uh, but the shuttle here from the wild horse come and pick this up pick me up brought me down here where I can get some Pepno Bismol he's a real nice guy he's gonna help us out <laughs> unfortunately Vicky's still sick I haven't heard anything from the mechanic yet but it doesn't look too good I got home I got a call from my friend Frosty I want to show you something a friend of mine did here on uh, GoFundMe. Uh, he's a friend of mine from uh, YouTube, like you guys are. And he put this page together. I've had a couple donations. But I'll, I'm going to put a link on this page here to it. So you guys can, if you want to donate, if you've ever wanted to buy me a beer or a drink, uh, just donate the price of a beer. It'll add up. There's 7,500 uh, subscribers on here. Each gave me, bought me a beer. That'd be enough to get the, uh, get me back on the road. This, uh, he's got this thing uh, listed at, uh, I don't know where it was, but it's, he's got it quite high, but I don't even, oh, right there it is. $65,000 goal. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I don't got that many friends in the world. But if you want, ever wanted to buy me a beer, just uh, donate the price of a beer. That, that'd be fine with me. That's what uh, this guy did here. An anonymous, I don't know who that is. Uh, naturally, because it's anonymous. With Charlie Blood. Good old boys. But uh, anyway, I wanted to share this with you. If you feel like uh, trying to help me get back on the road at this point, right this minute, we still don't know what's wrong with it, but it looks like it's uh, going to be a $10,000 bill. If it's what the mechanic thinks it is. But I'll post more of that after, uh, right after this clip here. Well, this is day two, guys. Just got off the phone with the mechanic. I did have a bad injector, at least one. It was in hole number five. But when he got that fixed up, he started it up, and the knock was still there, and come to find out, that $6,500 transmission I put into that truck, it looks like that's the problem. Either the flex plate has broken, or a bolt has backed off. So, my next call was to Ramco Transmissions, down there in Yuma. Got a hold of Flash, and Flash says, well, let me call the guy. You're under warranty. 
but we need to take it to a different shop. Well, I didn't want to do that because the truck is in one piece and motors, you know, a lot of pieces to that truck right now, I imagine. They, uh, so Flash called the mechanic. Long story short, they're going to get the transmission fixed. Uh, the flex plate, I think, whatever it is. Uh, and uh, fix the rest of it and hopefully be on the road in oh four or five days so I'll keep you apprised of what goes on from there I wanted to let you know what's happening oh and by the way Vicki how you feeling over there better she's feeling better guys so that's great that's the best news of the whole thing here's the little PS doesn't look like it's going to cost the 10 grand. It'll cost a few grand, I'm sure. Anytime you put a wrench to one of these trucks, it costs money. So thanks, stay tuned. I'll tell you what we ended up with.